Welcome, collectors and hobby enthusiasts. Thank you once again for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be going over a brief overview of my latest quote unquote completed 3D printed projects in 187th scale, up to and including my latest one that I finished just over a day ago. So we are going to start off with the model that you see in front of you. This is a Circus City Decals Cat Ringling Brothers Circus Cat. Now, in all actuality, Circus City Decals just makes the upgrade kit. The base model is actually this right here. This is a Viking bulldozer kit. So this is what you need to buy first if you're interested. Uh, eight. 06550823, the item number, again, it's a 187 scale bulldozer kit by Viking, so you'll need to source this because the majority of this build requires the main tractor unit, uh, the undercarriage, etc., etc. You will need to remove the blade, obviously, for obvious reasons. Now, what Circus City decals gives you is obviously a set of decals, the back portion of this, the rubberized pads on the tracks they actually give you a different track set completely and then one of two different front portions of this tractor i offer i opted for the one that uh, i remember seeing uh, on i love cat machines which was a uh, vhs that caterpillar produced almost 25 years ago where they did a feature on the ringling brothers barnum and bailey cat tractors in uh, Bear in Baraboo, Wisconsin, and you got to see them moving the circus wagons and stuff around. So anyway, this is a really interesting build. It's a lot of fun to do. Obviously, I painted this in old cat yellow, added my own flair of decals and such to it. Um, didn't even touch the Ringling Brothers decals. I made my own sticker decals, as you can see. Uh, but it's a, it's a lot of fun to do. It's a quick build. You can knock it out in one afternoon. And I plan to, at some point, maybe pick up a couple 187 scale circus wagons just to tow behind this uh, for display purposes. And uh, maybe even have a couple flat cars, 187 scale train cars with some circus um, carts on it and have this mo maybe moving them around in a uh, circus diorama. So that's the purpose of this. Again, made by Circus City Decals. You can find them on eBay. A very fun kit. They also make a uh, tracked skid steer that you can either make it a bobcat or a cat. Uh, and they also make a bobcat mini excavator as well. Next up, this is another build from a seller on eBay. Uh, I think he's still around. So this actually comes as three different parts, the undercarriage, the uh, the stick, and the boom and the bucket, and then the main excavator portion. Now, it comes as an orange, all-plastic piece. So really, all you have to do is, you know, assemble it and paint it. Now, this was pretty easy for me to do. I'm not totally happy with the way that it goes together because, as I said, it's, it's pretty much all one piece so to give the effect that the windows are in normally what i do for an enclosed vehicle uh or an enclosed cab vehicle in ho scale is i would just do the windows black but obviously if i did that with this generation of cat uh the whole thing would just end up being a black you know look to it so what i could have done obviously is could have gone for gray windows which in retrospect i probably could should have done on this uh, but instead i printed off some pieces of blue and tried to trim them to the appropriate size to give the illusion that there's window glass there. So at some point I may take those off and just redo the windows in kind of a gray or a silver finish, particularly if I end up finding a chrome paint pen, which I've been after for a while. Other than that, there's very little functionality on this model. It is meant to just be a display piece. You can either pose the boom up. The actual arm does not move back nor does the bucket curl in and out, nor do the tracks move. The decals were made by me. Obviously, they are not supplied with the casting. But in terms of having a reduced tail swing excavator in HO scale, the 321C LCR looks pretty good, especially if you use it in a diorama or, as I do, use it in a cat uh, dealership yard. So... Again, forgive me, I don't know the, I don't recall the seller's name on eBay. I'm not sure if he's even still around, but uh, it is a pretty inexpensive, I think all told shipping and tax included, um, was under $10 for this. All right, 
onto the stuff that you can still get from Shapeways. This is a TYD, which is the name of the seller on Shapeways. Caterpillar AP1000F wheeled, rubber tired wheeled paver. This was uh, really fun to build. Now the TYD builds or, or Shapeways kits, they actually come assembled, which is unusual for Shapeways models. Most of the time they will come unassembled, unspruce. You have to cut them, sand them, paint them, and then assemble them. Uh, the TYD builds, his models all come in white, fully assembled. Now obviously you can cut them up if you want to paint them and then reattach them. I chose to do my best and just paint them all together. Decals, the decal stickers once again were all done by me. Um, basically in a paint program that I use called paint.net. It's a free resource. You guys can look it up. Uh, the decals were made by me in the same program by using reference photos uh, and taking what I could. Back here, these are all the um, operator station controls, which again, I took from the cat manual for this machine and tried to resize them and did a little uh, re-engineering or reimagining of what they would potentially look like. I did not source a Carlson Screed logo on this, which I probably should have done, but instead I put a cat Screed logo on it. And on the front, again, these models by TYD are not functional. They are stationary models. It all of the cat models that you will see on here, whether it was the Circus one or all the way up to the last cat model I'll show you, are painted in authentic Caterpillar paints purchased from my local cat dealership. So there's this one, which I really like a lot. Okay, the second of three TYD models from Shapeways I have to show you is the Caterpillar CB15 Tandem Vibratory Drum Asphalt Roller. Uh, really like this model for a variety of reasons. One, it is a modern asphalt roller by Caterpillar that we really haven't seen since the CCM uh, brass roller in 187th scale. I really, really, really am pushing hard and have contacted Diecast Masters on a number of occasions um, pleading for 187th scale paving equipment. Uh, I believe it would sell very well and be very well received, so we will see what happens. But until then... I decided to uh, look on Shapeways and see what was available. And not only do you have rollers and compactors and pavers, but you also, in my previous update video that I did a few months ago, they have coal planers and also arguably, probably most impressively, uh, is the soil reclaimer. So you guys can check out that video link at the top right corner of your screen if you'd like to see those. Back to this, again, headlights, decals, all that stuff was redone by me. I tried to give the illusion that there's, you know, gray on the inside, um, black operator seat, did all the tanks up here. This was really my first where I tried to do the lines as straight as possible um, with paint pens and such. I even added down here, if you can see it, there's a small warning label, which is so tiny it's even hard to pick up on camera. And obviously I did the drums in that gray finish. And what I tried to do was give the illusion that there was water coming down on it, on the drums, by doing different shades of gray. So hopefully that comes across and looks pretty decent. All right, next up, the last of the TYD models on Shapeways. This is a CB533E soil compactor. Uh, this one is functional. You can move the drum slightly, but that is the only functionality on this. Same story, different verse. Decals were done by me. Paint was done by me. Other than that, the model itself is... Oops, this decal is shifting a little bit. We need to fix that. Um, other than that, again, the, the whole thing can be attributed to that seller on Shapeways. So you can look him up just by Googling Shapeways TYD or uh, Google Images Shapeways TYD cat models. Either way, both of these will come up and uh, give you the option to click on them. All right, next up, these both are from the Model Mechanic, who I have purchased numerous models from over the years. The first is so, so tiny. It is the CAT CB 1.7 patch roller. This was very difficult, mostly due to its size. Now, unlike TYD models, the Model Mechanic models do come on a spruce and in pieces, which has its advantages and disadvantages. The advantages 
um, mostly allow you to assemble the model at your pace and paint the model and do small individual pieces before you assemble it. The disadvantage is it doesn't always come with directions, so you often have to source reference photos or if you have the ability to look at real machines to find where the small subtle pieces go if you're not sure where they go. So again, there's advantages and disadvantages with everything. This is made to articulate across the articulation joint. Uh, that is the only thing that I have made functional on here. You can have the ability for the drums to roll. Uh, that is possible with the kit. I elected to glue mine into a stationary position since this will only be a stationary uh, object on my layout. But again, bear in mind that if you were to look and purchase this for yourself, you do have the ability to have the wheels roll. Okay, showing you guys the last model. This is the one that, honestly, I, I'm the most proud of, and uh, I just finished up the other day. My only goal with all of these models is to improve and get better every single time I do it. And this one I think I made a lot of strides on. So this is a Model Mechanic Caterpillar 525 Single Arch Grapple Skitter. Uh, the Model Mechanic offers several different variations. Single arch, um, double arch, I think is what it's called, and then also a cable skitter for this. And then he also off offers tracked skitters. Now, he doesn't specifically mention that they're based off of any real-life skitters. So you can do them in John Deere colors if you want to. Um, or, you know, whatever manufacturer you want. I believe this one, if you look at it close enough, in terms of the design, was heavily, heavily, heavily inspired by a Cat 525. I think it even says that in the mold. But a lot of his designs kind of give you, the, the model maker, the creative freedom to paint them and do them in whatever color you like. Um, the, the arch does go down. You can make the grapple close. Again, mine I chose to leave stationary. I also did this little tiny black piece of wiring that I cut to size that's not included with it to give it the illusion of a hydraulic line. The wheels do spin on here. Uh, the machine can articulate like this across the center pivot point. Got to be a little bit careful. And then also you can raise and lower the front blade just like that. Again take significant care in doing that so that is my cat skitter again very very happy with the uh, end result of that i do have some lights on here one of the hardest parts for me was getting this angle of the paint to go correctly if you look at the first generation of the cat 525 skitter from the 90s it has this descending shape from the black to the red uh, the red line stripe on it. It's not exact, but it's as close as I could get to it, and I'm pretty happy with it. So I actually love the way that this skitter turned out. Uh, my next purchase, for those that might be interested, that I'm hoping to grab sooner rather than later, the Model Mechanic has a uh, tracked um, asphalt paver that I am hoping to pick up at some point. It is a little bit on the expensive side, but really anything on Shapeways now, because Shapeways themselves has increased the prices, um, is a little on the expensive side. That's kind of why I haven't picked it up yet. Um, but I intend to pick that up and then make that into a modern-day cat um, asphalt paver. So that will eventually be my next project. But honestly, guys, if you're looking for a vehicle for your model railroad specifically, or if you collect construction equipment HO scale and you can't find it made by the, you know, the big manufacturers that make proper die cast or plastic model kits, give Shapeways a try. There's a lot out there. The stuff looks really, really good when you're finished with it, especially if you take your time. And uh, to the untrained eye, you know, nobody's going to know that it's, you know, a Shapeways model um, and not something that uh, wasn't bought, you know, by a Kibri kit. And in some cases, at least in my opinion, some of these Shapeways models are a thousand times light years ahead better than a plastic Kibri kit in HO scale. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever bought anything from Shapeways. And maybe if you have the ability to, I'm not sure if YouTube allows you to attach photos, but maybe submit some of your photos below of your finished Shapeways products. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care and be safe. I will see you in the next review.